morning y'all we are having some indian style samosas today okay so we're gonna uh cut these onions this is all the onion we got left so they're super small I'm gonna chop this onion. These are all the seasons that you're gonna need for your uh, whatever kind of ground meat you wanna use. I'm using ground turkey. So we're gonna prepare this meat before I um, get dressed. So after I'm dressed, we'll just fry it. Put them together with our cut the carb flatbreads and we're gonna fry them. You can chop your onions however you want to. I'm just gonna chop them like this because it's easy. Unthawing my uh, turkey meat, ground turkey, right now. This is going to go in the pot first.
after we caramelize these onions, we're gonna add some um, minced garlic or you could add like garlic paste if you want. But I don't have any garlic paste, so I'm gonna do minced garlic. Put these down and I'll be back. All right, let's add some minced garlic. And make sure you get you some green onions because we're going to uh, use some green onions in this also. That's about a tablespoon of garlic, y'all. Next step is gonna be to add your, um, whatever ground meat you wanna use. Or if it's vegetarian, your potatoes. I hope it's ready because my mixture is ready for something. Meat. Um, oh good, it is ready. Pretty much. It's still frozen a little bit, but it'll be okay. This is still frozen, so I'm gonna put this in the bag. Mm go ahead and season it now but we're going to brown this meat Go ahead and start seasoning. 
I'm using some chicken bouillon. I think I'm gonna use this in place of Tony Sasseries because that's what I used last time I made it. I used Tony Sasseries, um, but I think this will be better. So we gonna see. Cayenne pepper. <laughs> Murder Show put another little top on here, so it wouldn't be open. Smoked paprika. I need to get some more of this. Ginger paste, y'all. Ginger paste. I will put like um, a tablespoon in here. This is all I got though. So mine is a little less than a tablespoon. But the ginger is so good in here. Like you have to have the ginger. So if you don't have none, you need to go get some. <laughs> Go get it now. Garlic powder. Onion powder. a little bit of Tony's, just a little. Mix all that ginger up, y'all, in here. Now I'm about to cut some green onions in here. Some of my green onions from my garden, honey, that I froze. I'm just going to cut them in just like that. Freaking yum. This is essential too, y'all. These green onions give it such a nice flavor. I can't even explain the flavor, but it is delicious. Yeah, this smells incredible.
And y'all, this is the pot that I love so much, y'all. Okay. I'm gonna leave it linked. Hopefully I remember. <laughs> but this is that frying pot. that I stand behind, honey. Non-stick, it doesn't rust, it will never rust. Non-stick, doesn't have any of the bad chemicals that a lot of these pots have. And it'll last you for a lifetime, honey, okay? A lifetime. This is a hex clad frying pan. Hex clad, y'all. We got the wok. We got the um, little boiling pot. And we got this one. So we have three from the company that I bought with my own money, honey. Okay, let's taste it. Let me put these up back in the freezer. All right, let me turn this down some. The onions are cooked all the way through. Now let's taste. <sighs> Y'all. Oh my God. It's so good. I wish I had more ginger, but it is still so good. I literally have some pickled ginger. Let me see what that tastes like. This pickled ginger, y'all. I don't know how this will. Hmm, should I add it? I think I should. It smells so good. I'm just gonna add a little. Y'all, we trying different things today. taste in there. So I'm gonna let that marinate and simmer in there. But it's good already, y'all. It's good already, girl. Delicious. Y'all, I finally got the orange one in. Y'all, look at this fit. Oh my God. I absolutely love it. I just did a video on it, so it's on my TikTok page. It's the most recent video. Y'all have been waiting for this orange color, girl. This is just like that, um, <laughs> this is just like that uh, khaki one I had on just the other day, but this is in the orange color, y'all. Wide leg pants. I just have on some gold sandals pockets button down is comfortable this is a size large y'all i accidentally ordered the wrong size i was supposed to order medium but the size difference is not that big at all like it's just you see it's just a little loose in the waist it's just a tiny bit of, but the large definitely works y'all definitely so i'm not mad i'm not mad about it anyway let's go ahead and make these samosas uh let me get where oh I have I got the meat in there so I'm gonna have to use another pot. Um what other pot we gonna use? Yeah. I guess I can use this. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. Well, wait a minute, because I kinda wanna sit them flat on the bottom of the pot instead of um them floating. So Hmm. 
See, I need to be using the pot that the meat is in. Let me go and get this for that. Let me wash this out. I'm going to put that meat mixture in a bowl. And then wash that. Let me find a bowl first, girl. Did this have a hole in it? Oh, my God. I don't have a supply for bowl sometimes. They literally get holes in them. We got our cut the car flatbreads out, ready to go. Cause y'all already know, <laughs> that's what we using for our samosas, girl. I was gonna do um, empanadas, but I haven't gotten my, uh, my dough in yet. Cause I'm using, I'm gonna use that same keto pizza dough that's what i'm gonna use oh this meat is nice and moist okay let me wash this real quick all right y'all so i put out three sheets and i'm going to cut them directly down the middle if i can do it directly down the middle or what you can do is fold it like that Press that seam out. And you can tear it down the middle, but I don't trust myself. So I'm just gonna cut it. And I'm gonna lift it like that so I can make sure I'm cutting it down the middle. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Let me grab me some toothpicks just in case. Hopefully, they fell right out. Hopefully. I won't need to use them. You know what I'm saying? It, the wrap part, like wrapping it, doesn't always work out for your girl. So you take like a tablespoon of meat. Okay. Then you take your wrap and you fold it in like a half triangle. Okay, then you fold it to the front. Then you fold it over back this way okay then we're gonna take this flap and completely cover this and it goes just like that and now I'm just gonna lay it down exactly like that so it can stay closed and we're gonna do the next one we're just gonna keep doing the same thing y'all trust me you'll get it I hope that y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. Fold over into a half triangle. Ooh, this girl, my thing is coming apart. Okay, that doesn't usually happen. Okay. Well, thank God I'm able to cover the part that ripped open. Key to these, y'all, is to make sure your feeling is good. And make sure it's not too wet either, your feeling. And when we fry these, we're gonna lay them seam side down so they can completely close. Oh, look at that ginger. Oh, this smells so good, God. I'm trying to figure out what else I can use this meat mixture for. Cause girl, so seasoned. Lay that down. Oh, I didn't cut this in yet. Is this 
two or one? Great, it ripped. Oh my gosh. Be more careful. I started to go a little too fast. Thinking I was doing something. <laughs> so just be very gentle, especially if you have on nails. Yeah, I was getting a little too excited. You know what? I'm just gonna cut all these in half all together. Because why not? feel like today is Saturday <laughs> and it is literally Tuesday. Uh oh, this one's ripping. Let me be extra careful. And you can double these too, y'all. If you need more crust, you can double them. I've never done that, but you can if you like. Uh oh, that's some rip too. Okay, it's gonna work out though because as soon as you put it in that grease, they seal. This might be too much meat. Make sure you don't put too much. Oh, great. You don't want to stay. So. Oh my God, it's not great. Come on, give me a break here. I don't know why it's not. There we go. There we go.
that's good enough for one plate. Uh, I'm not gonna eat all of them anyway. Uh, Y'all, I wanted to make some of that. I'm gonna use my cilantro lime sauce too, but I wanted to make some of that tamarind sauce, but I don't have the stuff to make it. So I'm trying to figure out, should I make like a sweet and sour sauce? <laughs> Instead of the tamarind sauce, since I don't have the ingredients, I think I should. Oh no, I don't have any sugar free ketchup. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all, we're over here right now. We're over here. I'm about to make this sweet and sour sauce real quick. I found some sugar free ketchup. Not the one I usually like to use, but it's still sugar free ketchup. Um. Maybe we need this. Maybe we need this light right here. Okay, so xanthan. No, no. We're gonna put like a tablespoon. Not a tablespoon. I'm sorry, a teaspoon of um, sesame oil. Okay. I'm really eyeballing everything, honestly. Is this? And this is, needs to be on low. Then we're gonna put a fourth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum in here. Whisk it up until it's dissolved. With whisk till it's dissolved fourth of a cup of vinegar fourth of a cup Third of a cup of apple cider. Do, do, do. Stir that up. Third of a cup of water. Stir it up, make sure there's no lumps because it's gonna get a little thicker because of the xanthan gum. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. I only have the dark soy sauce, so that's what I'm using. Two tablespoons, okay? One, two. Stir that up. Third cup of ketchup. One third of a cup. I'm gonna eyeball this because I don't feel like using that measurement. Uh, should I use it? Third of a cup of ketchup. I'll be I'll be a good girl this time. That's fourth of a cup. Third of a cup of ketchup. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry about the noise. Y'all, and then a half a cup of brown sugar. Of course, I'm gonna be using Truvia. So, half a cup. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely eyeball this. Half a cup. How much is half a cup? It's about. God damn it. that much. Yeah, that's it. That was the last ingredient. You stir this up until everything dissolves and comes together. Taste it. Make sure you like it. And now we're about to start frying these. I'm glad I took the time to do that. Because Lord knows I was going to want some type of a sweet sauce that reminded me of the tamarind sauce, you know, that you get from the Indian um, spot. Sorry for the noise. But make sure you taste it and make sure it's the consistency that you want it. I'm gonna turn mine up a little bit so it can cook. tastes just like some of the sauce. I just wish it was that red color. You know what I mean? It's all good. Mm. As long as it tastes like it. you to get weedy. The first ones I'm putting in there are the ones that are tripping. I'll be right back. I just got my package. The keto, the keto pizza crust from Amazon. It's in my store plant, y'all. Uh, LinkedIn the um, description under pantry on my Amazon storefront. That if you're a keto, you definitely, you need that in your household. For real. It's about to rain again. Oh my God. What's up with all this rain? Rain, rain go away. Easily. All right, I'm about to put them in now. It should be hot enough. It should be hot enough. Yeah, this one's all messed up, so I'm putting her in first. Come on, is it hot enough or not? Because you don't want to burn. This ain't gonna work. But this will. There we go. There we go. Now. Oh, oh girl, I almost messed my sauce up. Turn her back down. Yeah, 
It don't need to be on one side for that long at all. See how perfect that is? It's literally perfect. is going to be hotter. Okay, since it's already been frying, so beware of that. Beware.
two more in here. I thought this one was gonna mess up all the way, but it didn't, thank God. Okay, two more. Hold that down so it won't unfold. So if you have a loose one, just put it down in the oil and then press it down until it adheres. That worked perfectly. Alright y'all, we are almost done. Of course, I'm gonna have some cucumber with this. Your girl needs to eat her, all of her cucumber up. I'm st I still don't know what to do with them sweet uh, peppers. I'm gonna figure it out though. Still don't know what to do with them. I was gonna put it in the meat mixture that I made today, but I changed my mind. So this is a sweet and sour sauce. Pour it all in there. And I'm gonna make sure I save this one this time. Cause normally I'll throw the rest of it away, but not this time, girl. Cause I would have loved for me to already have some ready today. Definitely saving the rest of the apples. Okay, and then I already have my cilantro lime sauce, which mimics their green sauce. So I'm just gonna, you know, let me say that because I'm not gonna use all of it. And um, let's go ahead and place our beautiful, delicious Indian samosas. That's what these are. Let me take the toothpick out. I want to be able to fit both sauces on here, but I just don't know if that's going to be able to even happen. Let me see. Look at that. That don't. God, I need a smaller. If I would have had my little saucers like I used to have before somebody freaking lost them. Um. Could have fit it on there. God, doubt it. Really? I guess I could just sit you right there. Um, oh, that's pretty. Okay. That's pretty. I guess I'm just going to have to. Um, That's all somewhere else. And I'm gonna put both of these somewhere. This is gonna have to go on the other side of the plate or something. Yeah. Oh, and y'all, I just put some waters in the freezer. They're probably not even cold yet. Probably. Yeah, that's one thing I forgot today. To... You know what? I have water in my refrigerator upstairs. I'll be back. All right, y'all. Got me some cold water there. Thank God I had this in my refrigerator. It's about to be on hot. On and popping. 
We're definitely having something orange. Definitely. So, let's see what we got. We got mango. Mango peach. That's what we have. So we can sit down and talk about Kamala. <laughs> <laughs> and all the stuff they trying to do because they scared because she run. Oh, y'all, it's so funny. It's literally funny. All right, mango peach. Hopefully I remember that that's what this is. I'm gonna take this to the table real quick. Dang, I should have took the green sauce too. But oh well. Okay. No, I can take it. <laughs> like, where y'all go? <laughs> where y'all go? Alright. Lights, camera, action. Lights, camera, action. Y'all ready? Who is ready, girl? This, ooh. Ooh, I can't wait. Oh my God, delicious. Let me bring it like that. Let me see what kind of angle that gives. Let's do it, y'all. I'm ready. We made, we have some homemade Indian spice samosas, y'all. Look at that. I made them with cut the carb flatbreads. Yummy, freaking delicious, y'all. They are a low carb flatbread that is keto friendly. And we have some homemade sweet and sour sauce that is also keto. And we have a cilantro lime sauce which is also keto. And we have a yummy, delicious peach mango flavored water. Yummers! Who is ready for this mother-loving mukbang? Y'all know y'all want some.